what did you make of it? I thought it was really poor, really poor. So, no. There's nothing there, no, no strikers, nothing. No. Even Forrest, I can't say the word, but they were terrible. You've got to beat teams like that. Well, I'd say they played a lot better than Huddersfield and Blackpool, but they're just firing blanks. I don't know how many times they had God given chances and they just played for me. That last one, oh my god, that should have been an absolute peach of, you know, just gone straight in, but. I don't know, we're just confidence it just seems low up front. It's just it's frustrating really. We should have took them to the cleaners. So what can you do? Uh, it was a poor poor effort uh, to be honest. I mean we could have nicked it at the death. Um, if only Carlin Grant was still on the pitch instead of Hugo, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's still a point. What did you make of the red card for Malumbi? It's the second yellow, isn't it, all day? 100 percent yeah, so you can't blame. Them. It's the second yellow, so it's got to go in it. No. I don't know what else I can say about that. It's, uh, I've, I've got to see the challenge again. Well, I've already seen it and it looks like, it looked like 50-50. Yeah, I mean, it's it's contentious again, but again, our discipline. That's like the second yellow card in as many games now. Um, maybe part of that is due to the EFL refs, um, I don't know, but... You know, the discipline's just not there at the moment. Yeah, obviously Albion had that great chance at the end, didn't they? Ball field falls to Hugo. Just, it, sum, it sums up what's going on with Albion. Just can't find the back of the net at the moment, can they? No striker, is there? Hugo's not a striker. He ain't going to score goals for us. So, four. Uh, not just one player, the whole, but across the team. But you blame the manager and the, and the board for that as well. Comes it up, you know. Um, it should have been straight in, it just have whacked it, but instead it, it headed for orbit. It's just, oh, really frustrating. We should have done well. I mean, they went down to ten, we went down to 10, and I say we still play better than Forrest. You know, they had a very poor night considering their, their recent standards. Uh, I don't know, it's really frustrating, it's really annoying, but you know, a point is a point, but we need to start winning that. I mean, um, it, it was all the like pass, 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 and then pass back. And, you know, just stick the ball in the net. You know, just, um, I mean, most of the crosses were to no one, you know, and um, it's, it's really starting to get frustrating there. Do I need to address it in January? I think they need to address it now. I'd, I'd sack the manager and get rid of and the board as well. I've got to go 100% my personal opinion, but I don't know what else, else thinks, but I don't know what else to say. It's just a cold night like this and you're watching that. <laughs> what, what do you say? It, confidence is low, put it that way. Um, I think this emphasises the fact that we need a centre forward in January. If there's anything we're going to get, it's a centre forward. Like I said before, if we can try for Daryl DK like he had at Barnsley, we'll go for him. But again, will we have the money to get him? I don't know. We, just need, we need someone whose job it is not to cross, not to do anything else, just stick the ball in the net. You know, we can't rely on wingers the whole time. So.